everybody. Um, today, or recently, um, I bought my first um, electric bicycle right here. It is a really, really cheap one. Obviously, I'm on the side of um, what I call it expressway. And um, that's just the uh, back reflector. But let me get into the details first. So this, this, is a, this is a hub drive motor. It's a hub drive, so. But it does have pedals, but it does not have pedal assist, or I call it, um, you know, power assist, whatever. But it does have a really nice kickstand, um, which is nice. It's got some Chinese writing on it. Um, there's a power indicator. It is a really bright day, and it's warm. It's like 15 degrees. So it's perfect for to test out this ride. It is still wrapped in plastic right here, as you can see. It's got a really nice basket. It's my helmet. It's got good wheels. Um, it is rear wheel drive. So let me get into uh, this for details first. So uh, you can pedal it like this, really, really nice. Or you can also um, use the throttle, which is also pretty nice. Look at this. You got your uh, um, you got your um, power adjustment. Like you can put it to one. That means um, more torque and less speed, I believe. And then three will be um, the highest speed and the least amount of torque. Perfect for this kind of road, as you can see. The ex perfect for the expressway, but I like to leave it at two. So I get half and half. And um, yeah, this does have a light. It is, it's a super bright LED. As you can see, yeah, as you can see right there, it's dual lights. Uh, back does not have a light, it's just a reflector, but I can easily install a light and it does have a horn which is very very cool um, so it's got a fob you can even shut it off and then you know you can even set the alarm and then uh, you can uh, you know disable the alarm again it's really really nice I really enjoy this this is not some Chinese crap that I'm talking about like you got your um, adjustable seat height right here. Yeah, right there you need a, um, yes. And then the seat easily tilts up. And then, um, which I'm not gonna do this day, but you got a, your removable, rechargeable battery right here. There is the charging socket, because um, in fact, you even have a key to you know, remove the battery. Like you just twist that way and the battery comes right out. And that's what's keeping the battery in place right here, so. Sorry about all the traffic, but yes, and this connects to the main power supply to the uh, motor right there. So, I accidentally hit the pause button out of accident on my camera, so but that's why I cut right out. But one thing I discovered is that, um, check this out. Sorry about the bright sunlight, but. You can literally disable this motor. Like this bike doesn't even need a lock. Like if you disable motor, just even just unplug the keys and setting the alarm is like enough. Like you know. And you got your really nice front shocks. I'm not sure if they're air shocks or something, but I don't know where to inflate them or even if you can inflate them or not. But isn't that nope? That's just hollow. But yeah, it's really really nice. You do need to oil it so what it looks like um it's a by a brand called Yama, apparently <laughs> sounds funny it's a knockoff of yamaha as i know of many chinese products but yeah there is the lithium iron battery so far battery life's pretty good i'm about five six miles away from home and then uh, it's still got like 70 percent charge left so i'm pretty sure it can go pretty that uh, far this does not have a speedometer, but you can easily install it from aftermarket, like just put one on the handlebar. But the fastest, um, by the seller, um, the fastest speed, or the top speed, what you call it, um, is about, it's about um, 35, um, 35 um, kilometers an hour. So about, about um, 20, 20 something mile per hour, that's the top speed, if you have it on level three. And let's go for a test ride, shall we? I'm gonna put my helmet on. Actually, I'm gonna stop the video. And just to let you know, it is oops, it is really, really difficult to hold this two-pound camera and bike at the same time. Right now, I'm 
using just pedals um, and I can uh, you know turn the ignition key on and, you know change my camera position just give me a sec and there you go now I'm using throttle right here as you can see the power is even full like let me show you how fast this thing goes I'm gonna put it to the top speed so you guys have an idea if I duck down there's less wind, wind risk less wind resistance means I can go even faster yeah this is about the top speed ice I'm gonna slow down for a sec Ooh, I almost hit a rock but yeah small one so there is the air um you know there's the highway and then I'm on the expressway right next to it so the Galloping Goose Trail, in fact, like I said earlier, the speed up again. Yes, this is the top speed, like this is on level 3. And um, that's about this for this video, I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, um, stay tuned for more videos, and you know the drill, stay subscribed. I have more to come up with this bike. This will be my main use of transport, because I've been using public transport before, but they're getting worse, and they're getting pricey, so... This one's really cheap, by the way, I forgot to mention the price. This one cost me about $450. You know, I bought it used off a flea market. So, thanks for watching. As always, you know the drill. Stay subscribed.